Hello my soccer universe and welcome to another unpacking video. However, before we get to that, again, there will always be a Ukraine video this week, uh, <laughs> Ukraine jersey in a video, uh, at least for this week or maybe for the time being. Uh, so I decided now to wear one. Um, yes, I am prepared to make a Serie A review. However, um, I have decided now I'm gonna wait for the final cup round as well. But it's all Italian, which is also very fitting to what will be coming out of here. Uh, before I open this one, uh, quick, uh, a quick thing. This is another fake replacement. And I have been, as you know, I am on a budget. I gave myself, uh, we've given, decided now, uh, 100 euros a month roughly which i get a yearly budget so you can go over you can go under blah 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 i know now it's jersey buying season so uh you see where this might be going um but i actually was trying to hold um back on like searching too much because overall i'm quite content with the collections that i have for my videos maybe that on the dutch front i can uh I Im improve a little bit also the french front can uh improve a little bit uh although i have enough french teams but not enough league on teams <laughs> uh as i keep saying and also um i think a teeny bit it could improve on the german front where i think if i get one more i have it perfect in a way but it should be a blue team so you know I I'm quite settled. Uh, so I actually said, okay, uh, while I can, let's uh, say save around a little bit. But then there's the other thing. There are certain jerseys that I'm looking out for, uh, especially on uh, Wilhaben, where which is a second-hand seller, you know, like Vinted or uh, Depop or whatever, uh, which is very popular in Austria. The other two don't really work in Austria. I think Spock is another one. Uh, for jerseys, it's literally Wilhelm is so popular here in Austria that this is the site to go. And I know sometimes jerseys keep popping up and, and I had a few experiences last uh, year where I saw a jersey and then it already says reserved. So I made myself another habit. Okay, you check at least every other day, if not every day, uh, if something's popping and then you got a strike. And I also have to say, and a little prelude on that, uh, um, uh, you know, a warning for you for, for you guys. I have a uh, parcel with four jerseys coming that are just absolutely magnificent, perfectly fitting for my goals. And uh, two, at least two of these in there are super special. So, um, and I spent the money on that. The uh, Idris helped me get these, and I look for I really absolutely. Uh, great jerseys in there, uh, jerseys that I have been longing for. But you know, I have also my fake replacement, so I gotta look low guard. And uh, I have been scanning around a little bit, and then I suddenly see a jersey popping up that I have only seen once before on this page for an incredible price like over 100. And I'm looking at it, uh, and I said, Yeah, I should not. I, I, I'm so over budget for February already, but uh, this is one, uh, you know, I should I show I must say, don't, don't you have this one? No, this is a fake. I had had it. Uh, I had it. Uh, I had, this is would, would be a replacement. It's exactly to the specifications that I want. I have it. And then I said, yeah, let's sleep over it. Uh, but, you know, I couldn't really say, I said, no, I gotta do this. Um, I actually contacted the seller to send me proof that this is uh, a real one. Turned out everything's fine. And I bought it. Uh, the price was 50 with shipping 55. Uh, yeah, not necessarily that I wanted to spend uh, that much at that uh, moment. But then I thought, yeah, this jersey, when I see it on classic football shirts, Paul popping up easily sells for 100 pounds. So uh, for that reason, I have it right in here. Now, uh, also, I have it in here, but I have already opened the package because I already examined it when it came. Uh, I got this pretty much a week ago, but I didn't have the chance to make the video. So the opening will be rather, rather quick. I just pull it out. Um, it fits with the background. You know, I replaced one Italy jersey, and if you know the fake set that I had, you probably know which one this is. The 
the World Cup winning 2006 Italy jersey in perfect condition. Absolutely perfect condition. Uh, it is. And, you know, I saw it already, you know, um, on the crest. Um, you see already the way this is made, that this is the real deal because, you know, I had the fake one. But you see how nicely this is. Uh, I don't want to say stitched or, 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 or whatever. The, the, the one thing that had me initially a little bit worried is the Puma cats were not embroidered, but this is just a plastic transfer. But uh, from all I could see, uh, it really was this way, I guess, uh, to get the gold uh, shiny. The other thing, and I, I knew this, but uh, this is so weird that I realized it. Um, this Puma cat is on the top of the shoulder. This one here is on the sleeve, so it's kind of an asymmetric look. I gotta say, well, this is an iconic shirt, meanwhile, because, you know, winning the World Cup. And I have to say, uh, this was... I never thought that I will see Italy win the World Cup and then I'm not so happy about but this whole Zidane headbutt thing completely took the joy out of it and to, to be honest because of Zidane I was actually more or less neutral in this final uh, in many ways and while it dragged on late, late on I actually think it was uh, at least for the first 60 minutes as long Italy had some uh, strength it was actually a good final but in any case I got this jersey and I am so happy. I'm I'm re I'm really happy to have this one because I thought I will never. Uh, this is the one that will take the longest to replace, and I was. Uh, but I, I knew it will at one point po uh, pop up, and then I got a strike. Um, I also like you know the back is blank, you know, and the fake. I had a Pirlo name set on there. This is all stuff that one might do at some other time. Um, I really like. I mean, the material of those 2006 Puma shirts is rather weird but uh when i put this on because this is my other test i knew that the other one the fake that i had uh tried to mimic this material but it felt like a raincoat that you see but you 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 don't breathe in this is breathable or however weird this material in it is a little bit breathable and then there's also um this on the bottom on the back it says here federazione, federazione italiana gioco calcio and then it has here um uh, I really think. in collaboration with Neil, uh, with Neil uh, Barrett. Yes, of course, I should know. Uh, it says here, this was another sign. Okay, yeah, this is, uh, this is the genuine article. As I said, I'm really happy. I mean, the, and while, and while, what do I want to say? Um, the material is rather uh, rigid. It's not stretchy. However, if you pull, pull it under that, why they put this band here, which is stretchy. So it actually, it's, it's a weird feel when you put it on and uh, off. I mean, if you have this jersey, you, you, you know, but this actually makes the jersey then move and uh, work fine. <sighs> Never thought I'm going to have to see, see this one. Now, the other one would be, of course, the France 2006 away jersey to complete the set for the final. That will be another story, uh, but you know, if I get it, if it's if I see it, I may I may as well strike it. If uh, but you know, uh, uh, at the moment I feel so overstretched because I got so many great jerseys coming. Uh, uh, but I I feel I'm I'm way over budget at the moment, so I need to scale back a little bit. That's why I I don't want to push uh, now for other fake replacements. The time will come again. In any case, please let me know what you think about this. So, huh, maybe I can put it. I even prepared a hanger here. Now my Italy collection is back at where it was again and is by far the biggest one which actually because my Dutch collection was about to uh, go over so here it is I'll make a special video probably at some other time for it uh, it's so funny that I bought now two Italy jerseys here's the other one and Italy is probably not even at the World Cup oh well so yeah these are my latest two fake replacements I'm actually uh, I think I have now of the 15, I have four replaced for sure. And the fifth one with Iceland, you know, I know not the exact one, but I have an Iceland jersey. So in that sense, I think I'm doing fine. Any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you thought about this shirt. And, you know, maybe you found it somewhere uh, else as well. Um, and yeah, I will surely talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. 
I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.